The creative economy. Two simple words, but when combined, most people have no idea what it means or even what it looks like. However, when you bring the scope back to the artists and creatives who are also business people, that picture becomes very clear. It's why I couldn't wait to chat with my old friend. I've always seen you as somebody who lives at the intersection mm. of the creative economy and building community. Is that something that's, that's hard and is it hard to express it like in the work that you do? It's, it's interesting because as, it's almost like a double-edged sword. Hmm. It's become my superpower being yeah. in this middle space, yeah. right, of entrepreneurship and creativity. But it's also challenging because I feel like we, um, I feel like society just doesn't, isn't quite equipped yet with the necessary infrastructures to allow individuals such as myself to one, be incubated or mm. to succeed if they are natural born creative entrepreneurs or, mm. or you know, I think, I think we need to really have a larger discussion of what, what that kind of access looks like socially. I want you to tell me more about the, this tagline. Yeah, so the tagline, destroying fast fashion and unchanging individuality. Destroying fast fashion mm -hmm. and it, unchaining individuality. Ah, yep. uh, here you are. So, you know, fast fashion. Fast fashion is a, it, it's a social pandemic. I mean, it's a global pandemic in itself. It, you know, the world is deteriorating as we speak. Mm. Um, and there's a narrative that's finally being surfaced um, on this notion of our consumption, especially within the fashion space, mm. um, where we as consumers are consuming too much. We are consuming too much uh, textiles and we just And that's what defines fast fashion? That's what defines fast fashion, right? Mm. Nothing in this shop is new. Uh, it has it has history. And I is mean, that where the retro? Yep, the uh, retro kind of comes in. Yeah. Some of these pieces are from the 60s, 70s. So yeah. you know, there's rich history in all of this article of clothing. It's the and last suitcases. Suitcases. <laughs> you know, this pinball machine is from. Which I'm loving this pinball machine. It's you know the, that's what vintage is all about. It's not just about uh, the clothing. It's about traveling through time. I used to be a lot better at this. <laughs> I'm distracted by this hat, <laughs> and particularly when you talk about the whole state flourishing. Because right. uh, yeah, this is this is a cool one. I remember when we worked at the Innovation Hub together, and we talked a lot about access. Yep. And and you lived it out on a consistent basis. And when I think about what you've done here, which is phenomenal, thank you. <laughs> like, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. For me, it takes me back to some of those early conversations we had, yep. and what drove you and motivated you and where you started. Yep. Uh, and and I'm, I'm looking over here at the, uh, at the screen press. Of course. Well, let's make something. You have to, you have to, right? Yeah. See, but it's, it's, it's been a minute now. It's been quite a while since I've, uh, I've done anything. You gonna make sure I don't mess up, oh, right? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Got a tote bag. Yep. Well, we, tote bags because they're reusable, they're, all right? See, I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. All righty, Chris, what you're going to do over here is just grab one hand right there. Yep. And we're going to pull this ink back. It's called flooding. Mm -hmm. where we're flooding our screen with our image. Perfect. And now you're going to put your hand right there. And you're going to apply some firm pressure down and push forward. And then you're going to lift up, come back and do it one more time. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Bam. Ready to hit the store and everything. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> well, you know, I'm insanely excited that you have planted your feet here in Arkansas. Uh, you've already made a big impact, uh, not only Central Arkansas, but you've been all over the state, literally. And uh, and I'm, I'm pumped about what's coming next for you, man. My man. Maxi is a success. To be clear, he doesn't represent all Arkansas artists, but he is the face of the desire, ambition, and talent of many of them. But those attributes aren't enough without the nourishment of the people and policies. I'm looking forward to watching Maxi continue to build on his own success 
and nurture the next generation. It's all needed for this great state of ours. Visionary entrepreneur Maxi Dominguez is in a league of his own. He's a Latinx entrepreneur who's also focused on communities that get left out and left behind. I'm excited about the work that he's doing, and I know that others across the state are doing that same work. Find out how we are advancing that work by going to chrisforgovernor.com.